Welcome to the Krista Ray Network College Fair. I'm so excited that you have participated with us today. We have some fantastic schools here with us. My name is Jessica and I'll be your facilitator. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping items. Just to let you know, your camera and microphones are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use a Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Uh, just know that there are many different sessions happening on Saturday also. We have some panels and also some college fair times to do on Saturday, so make sure you check back at the website. This pre presentation is being recorded and will be available at, at strivescan.com forward slash Christo dash Ray. Now I'm going to turn it over to our first presentation uh, from St. Edwards University. All right, can we see my presentation? <laughs> yes. All right, perfect. Well, welcome everyone. My name is Daniela Carlo. I'm one of the assistant directors at St. Edwards University over at the Office of Admission. Um, I'm just gonna go over a couple of things of who we are, what we are, and what we offer here at the university. Um, so just to really kick us off, we are a small to medium-sized private liberal arts university located in Austin, Texas. Um, as you may know, Austin, Texas is currently one of the fastest growing cities in America. So I'll definitely touch base a little bit about how that impacts who we are here at Sandwards. Um, we do try to provide a small classroom experience for our students. That's something that we really pride ourselves on. So that's something that students can definitely look forward to. We are a pretty diverse campus in terms of who's represented on campus and also in terms of what we offer. Um, about 25% of our um, incoming class for fall 2021 was coming from out of state. So it's a really good opportunity for students to be able to have a fresh start and really explore what they want to do, but also meet new people. We do offer over 50 plus majors and minors at the university. So there's quite a bit of options for students to explore. One nice thing for students is that they can come in undecided and figure out what they want to do on our campus, or you can come in and directly get started with your major of choice. Many of our students will double major, major, minor, minoring, depending on their interests, but it really allows students to really dive into what they're interested in. Um, our campus is located right in the middle of the city of Austin. We're located three miles south of downtown Austin, so it's really hard to believe that we do have over 4,000 trees on campus. It really makes it a great environment for students to be able to study outside and hang out with friends and really have that true college experience in an enclosed campus. Um, so that's something that students really appreciate about our campus experience. Being located in Austin, Texas really provides a unique opportunity for students looking to um, be in the, the college experience. We Austin is also known as a, a college town despite how fast we are growing. With UT Austin being literally just three miles north of us, um, we are a college town of over 60,000 college students. So what does this mean for you as a student? It means that there's a plenty of opportunities for you to engage in and career opportunities, hands-on learning experiences. And in addition to that, you receive a lot of support throughout the community to be able to pursue what is in your next step of your chapter. Um, Austin is also really known for its culture and its like, diversity and a lot of growth opportunities uh, for college students as well. So it's definitely something that many of our students really thrive and look for when they're coming to our campus. We've been here for a really long time in this city, so we have definitely created many connections for our students to take advantage of. One of my favorite parts about the city of Austin is definitely its nature opportunities. There's lots of great outdoor space. We are definitely one of the sunniest cities in America, um, but also really allows students to really kind of step away from things um, and get to know themselves throughout the city, but also explore new things and meet new friends and hang out. Um, so that's definitely something to look forward in your college experience if you are looking for a place like Austin, Texas. At the end of the day, you do come to college to study. So that's definitely one of our priorities that we provide here at the university. Um, so we definitely, our approach is the liberal arts um, to our education here at St. Ed's. It means that we wanna provide you a well-rounded environment to be able to study. You're gonna learn how to read, write, and critically think in everything that you do. We do provide a great network of support. We do approach it through the student success initiative, meaning that you're gonna get a set of three advisors, a career advisor, um, a faculty mentor and an academic advisor to guide you throughout the entire process all four years at St. Ed's. We really do pride, pride ourselves on hands-on learning experiences, so you can definitely guarantee on having internship experiences all four years at the university. 
or if you're not in an internship program, you will be doing some lab work, especially for any of those students who are looking at STEM programs specifically. Um, so there's lots of opportunities to really try on the majors of your choice and really figure out what it is that you wanna take on for your next step. You'll see a list here of some of our most popular and unique majors. I would definitely say some of the most unique majors to our university are, are video game development program, animation, forensic science. Psychology is definitely our number one most popular major on our campus, along with all of our 12 business programs that we offer at the university. So there's definitely a lot to choose from. And like I mentioned earlier, many of our students will take on multiple of those majors or combine them as major minors on our campus. As as some of you may know, or you may not know, we are a Catholic-based university. We are affiliated with the Holy Cross Congregation. So if you're familiar with the University of Notre Dame, they are our sister school. Um, something that we really pride ourselves on is incorporating the Holy Cross mission in everything that we do on our campus. So really part of the mission here at St. Ed's is to support a culturally and religiously diverse student body on our campus. And so you'll see that as many of our students feel a comfort in coming into our campus and being able to be who they are. Um, whether you're a practicing uh, religious student or maybe you don't look, are looking to practice in your college experience, we are here to support you in any way. Students are required are not required to take chapel. They're not required to take um, partake in mass. It's really up to the student on how they want to partake in their Catholic experience. And we definitely have plenty of resources for those students that do want to practice in their college experience here at St. Ed's. Um, big part of what we do as well is a, we are a social justice driven campus. So many of our students will commit themselves to service. Service is a big part of um, our community in Austin, as well as the St. Edwards community. Um, my favorite part of the mission is that we both educate the mind and the heart. And what that really means is that we want students to think outside the box and we want to challenge them throughout everything that they learn on our campus community, um, but also in all the engagements that we provide. We want students to leave our campus with thinking about different ways how they can incorporate what they've learned during their time on our on our hilltop community and how they can uh, pursue that and change the world for better. So in terms of living on campus, in terms of a student life experience, we do require students to live on campus um, for the at least the first two years. We do offer six different freshman residence halls and plenty of upperclassmen housing. So after that first year, you'll transition into upperclassmen housing that is a more of an apartment style feel and provides a little bit more independence for our students. We really encourage students to choose their own community, including even their own roommate. And so we have plenty of options for students to choose from. You can view any of our floor plans and our, have great views of the videos of these residence halls all on our website. So just to briefly talk a little bit about the application process, we do have four different ways to apply. I think the most important part is that we do offer a free application up until December 1st. So I highly encourage anyone who's interested in applying to definitely do so. Um, we offer, um, we are a test optional school. So with that being said, you do not have to submit an SAT or ACT score to be considered for admission or academic scholarship. So this is just a really great opportunity to see what we can offer you. Um, we do have a lot of great opportunities for students who just do apply. You'll see that our academic scholarships do range up to $26,000 annually. So there's a lot of great opportunities just on the academic scholarship front. But as always, we do highly encourage students to submit the FAFSA um, the free application for federal student aid, because since we are a private university, we do look at a larger range and we do encourage students to be able to see what their best financial aid offer is. Um, and we always leave the decision back up to you as a student to decide whether we're a good fit for you or not. As you'll see, 98% of our incoming freshmen receive some kind of merit scholarship and or grants as well as the average freshman scholarship and aid package, not including loans, it's about $31,000. Um, but as a disclaimer, not one student pays the same at the university. So we work with you individually to figure out what your cost of attendance is. And we do have a great financial aid office to help you out with that process. If you are interested in learning a little bit more about St. Edwards, the St. Edwards community or connecting even with some of our current students, I do highly encourage you as a student to sign up to our portal, hilltopperconnect.com. And you can connect with us, the admission counselors, as well as some of our student ambassadors to learn a little bit more about our campus community and in terms of what we offer. But thank you so much.
Thank you. Um, next up, we have Rockhurst University. Good evening. Uh, my name is Shannon Typher. I'm the Assistant Director of Campus Visits and Events. I'm also our regional um, admissions counselor here in Colorado. So I live full time here serving our families and our local high schools. Um, I represent Rockhurst University and our tagline is challenge yourself, inspire others and change our world. Um, my favorite component of our tagline is that it has a very evolutionary um, aspect and feel to it. So it really represents um, the student experience at Rockhurst. So you come into our doors, you really seek to challenge yourself academically, maybe socially as well. This might be the first time you are a little bit away from home and then you inspire others with how you get involved in your community, both at Rockhurst, our domestic community um, in the United States, and then maybe through international opportunities, and then you change the world. Um, that is really our goal with our students um, as members of the Jesuit uh, network here. So we at Rockhurst are part of the um, Jesuit tradition. There are 26 Jesuit universities across the country and about 120 internationally as well. Um, we, we kind of frame the way we educate and and have our community at Rockhurst University through these core values. So we have finding God in all things or finding good in all things, um, as well as cure personalis, which means care for the whole person. Majus, which means more, that's more of a qualitative versus quantitative concept. Um, reflection and discernment, contemplation and action and wisdom. My favorite is cure personalis, personally. Um, it, we really do seek to see our students as a whole person. You come through our doors, especially academically, we understand that there's a lot more going on in your life um, other than just how you did on a test or how you did um, on a certain project. And our faculty members do a wonderful job seeking to see you as that whole person. Um, and that is really reflected in both our student population and our student to faculty ratio. So at the bottom there, you see that we are home to 3000 RU students, about 2200 undergrads. So we're on the smaller side as a university. We have a 14 to one student to faculty ratio. So you really do get to know your faculty members as you are engaging in challenging material. It's hopefully not a surprise to you that when you go through your academic career um, in college, you will probably struggle maybe a few times with the material. So having that support around you with our faculty is super helpful and important. Um, so we can make sure that you are being better learners um, and setting up that structure for yourself after, so you can use that when you graduate. Um, and then we also have over 70 plus uh, degree programs that I'll show here in a minute. And then our students are able to um, about 90, 98% of our students have job and grad placement rates after, after you leave us here um, at Rockhurst and graduate. So um, there's a really great return on investment um, when you seek to participate in our community for your four years. And then we are uh, very regularly ranked among the top universities with World and News Report, um, as well as an NCAA Division II um, um, academic or athletic program. Um, we also are just minutes around downtown Kansas City. Um, we're about a five minute drive and we have a campus that's about 55 acres. So when you seek to go through your academics, it's really important that you choose your passion. So maybe you choose several of those. Um, these are just a, this is just a list of our academic offerings at Rockhurst. Um, a lot of our students really put lenses on their academic programs. So we've had pre-med students who are also art majors, and those students have been able to create these senior projects where they hand draw fit, like the anatomy that they seek to learn more about in med school. Um, we are growing more and more in our academics. Um, so you are really able to see how you can apply what you're learning in the classroom to real world um, social justice issues as well. Uh, this is just a list of some of our more popular, popular direct entry programs. We have a direct entry nursing program, as well as engineering, which offers um, mechanical, uh, civil, and electrical engineering, communication sciences and disorders, or speech pathology, 
occupational therapy and physical therapy. We actually house a master's in communication sciences disorders, as well as doctorate programs at OT and PT. And then we have a pre-med scholars program. So our pre-med scholars program allows our pre-med students to apply early to medical school. So you could learn at the end of your sophomore year of college if you have a spot saved for you in a medical school. Um, so that's always something really wonderful to learn about. Now, you are only in the classroom about 40% of your time in college. So what you do with that other 60% outside of studying is super important. So how do you get involved? How do you have that well-rounded um, college experience? This is just a list of some of our programs. We do have over 80 student organizations. We also set aside budget money. If a student comes in, you don't find your community right away, but you have a really neat idea to start your own organization, awesome. Come and tell us about it and we will want to financially um, fund you so you can have that community for yourself. We have, we have um, intramurals, Greek organizations, we have four sororities and five um, fraternities. Then we have Student Senate, as well as Student Activities Board. Um, student Activities Board is in charge of a lot of the um, late night and weekend activities for our organization, for our students. We have Honor Societies, so those are academic-based, international cultural and multicultural organizations, to name a few. We have Black Student Union, as well as Seoul, Student Organization of Latinos. Um, and we have some political and special interest groups. So again, we really do try and create a diverse and well-rounded student experience for our students. Um, as you are going through your time. So the admissions process, some updates. We are test optional. We've been test optional for a couple of years um, at Rockhurst. What that means for our institution is that you can send us your ACT or SAT score and it will not hurt you with our general admissions process. It can only help you in our academic merit scholarship, which I'll get to in just a minute. And then we are also super score for our merit scholarship. That means that you can take the ACT and SAT multiple times and we will basically um, bundle up your best scores in each of those, uh, in each of the sections, <laughs> sorry, that's my dog, <laughs> um, in order to get you the best composite score. So tuition at Rockhurst, we are a liberal arts institu institution and a private institution. Um, so our tuition is $39,500. Um, you are required to live on campus your first two years at Rockhurst. Um, that is $6,000 for housing. It's $6,360. That final cost is $50,660. With that being said, no one ever pay pays that full price. We give 100% um, scholarship to our students. Um, this is just a grid about our academic scholarship. Scholarships. So um, like I mentioned, if you send in your high school transcripts, you can, uh, we look at your weighted cumulative GPA. So if you have a 3.9 and above, that's $24,000 each year. 3.3, that's $20,000 each year and a 2.75. 16,000. So as a test optional institution, if you send us your ACT scores, it could actually bump you up into the next um, bracket. So for example, if you have a 3.88 that gets you in the NAP scholarship, but if you have a 25 ACT or a 1200 SAT, that can bump you right up into the $24,000 scholarship. We also um, accept all outside scholarships, so that's always a wonderful investment um, in your time, maybe on the weekends, to go out and search for um, really great scholarships that you could apply for. It often surprises students what they qualify for um, with outside scholarships. All of that would just stack right on top. Um, lastly, how do you apply? How do you become a hawk? How do you join our community? You can just go to rockers.edu slash apply. It is free to fill out our application. We also um, have a partnership with Common App, so you can add us to your list. Um, the documents that you'll need to send us are just your high school um, and or college transcripts if you're interested in transferring on over. Again, that's the only required document we need, and it is uh, it does need to be official, so your schools can just send us that information. Like I mentioned, ACT or SAT, that is optional. And then letters of recommendation or personal statement, that's also optional, but it does provide a really great, well-rounded um, perspective of who you are as a student and who you could be as a college student as well. You can email that to us, admissions at rockers.edu. Um, and if you have any questions, my contact information is just right there. Um, hopefully we can see you on campus soon. All right, thank you. Yes. Um, and so next up, we have St. Michael's College. Share my screen. 
Can you see everything? Can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Perfect. All right. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you for having me tonight. My name is Hannah Rock. I am an admission counselor at St. Michael's College, and I actually graduated from St. Michael's College. So it is a school that is very near and dear to my heart. I know it very well, and I'm so excited to be speaking to you all on behalf of the school tonight. Um, on this slide, very first slide, is a picture of our campus. We are a small in liberal arts institution located near Burlington, Vermont. Um, I know Vermont is very far away for a lot of students, um, but so I like to start off with this picture of campus. So you get a sense of immediately you know what our campus looks like. As you can see, we are surrounded by a lot of green space, a lot of outdoor um, at facets of our campus, and right across that horizon is the Adirondack Mountains. Um, of New York State looking right across Lake Champlain. So we're close to Burlington, Vermont, which is the largest city in the state of Vermont. Um, it is actually also consistently rated one of the top college towns in the United States. There are about 20,000 college age students in Burlington. So there are a lot of peers around and ready for you to meet. Um, it's a really wonderful area. We are a Catholic college. Um, we were founded by the Edmundites. We are actually the only Edmundite institution in the world, which means that we are the best Edmundite institution in the world. Um, the Edmundites really founded St. Michael's College on the values of social justice, service, and education, and all of those pillars, regardless of if you engage in Catholic life on campus or not, you will still engage in the ideas of social justice, service, and education. We are also a four-year residential college, which means that our students live on campus all four years, starting as a first year in a typical dorm style room as a double. Um, and then as you move up into your junior, senior year, your dorms kind of grow up with you. Um, you get to move into sort of townhouses and suites and have your full kitchen. Um, and so St. Mike's really carries you through your entire college experience. Here you can see a list of our full majors and minors. Everything that you see on this list is a minor and then everything bolded is a major. So this is really our all of our programs of study that we offer at St. Michael's College. Our most popular programs are business, psychology, biology, and education. Um, and we have a lot of really wonderful opportunities for all of our students. I would also say that our, inventor, our environmental science program also sets us apart. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when I talk about the Center for the Environment that is on our campus. Um, we also have a fair amount of pre-professional programs. We have a Peace Corps prep program, um, a pre-law program, a pre-medical and health careers track, um, which a lot of our biology majors are on, in as well as well as an Air Force and Army ROTC program. Um, St. Michael's College is located right next to a, an Air Force base. Um, you get to see F-35s flying over campus. It's really fun. Um, and it's great that um, we have a lot of students who partake in the Air Force and the ROTC. We also have undergraduate professional endorsements. So students who are interested in pursuing endorsements in sports coaching or um, emergency medical services or diversity inclusion, um, with more programs kind of coming on the way. Um, students are able to pursue those undergraduate professional endorsements to add that to their resume in addition to their, um, it, to their program of study, to their major or minor. We are a liberal arts school. So regardless of major, we do require students to take a set number of courses. Um, and those courses really foster, um, we really want our students to practice discussing and thinking about um, disciplines that are outside of their major or minor. Um, we do require that students take a religious studies class, but that's really to, it's not to convert any student, it's really just to have a understanding of what St. Michael's is, who the Edmundites are, and why we value what we value on campus. And so I did talk a little bit about the Center for the Environment when I talked about our environmental science major, but the Center for the Environment is something that we really value on campus. Um, so Vermont is a very green state. We are the Green Mountain State, of course. Um, and so we do value sustainability on our campus and the Center for the Environment really shoots to create a campus community that allows us to work and live sustainably on campus. Um, as I, I think, as you remember, um, I showed you a picture of our campus. We 
are a, surrounded by a lot of green spaces. Um, our campus is actually 440 acres and a lot of that is green space that is used for the Center for the Environment and by our Environmental Science Department um, to do labs and have our students out on our farm on campus growing vegetables. Um, we have a lot of sustainable initiatives on campus and those 440 acres are really designed and designated for those sustainable initiatives. On the side of your screen, you will see pictures of our students working on the farm that we have. Um, they grow, our farm grows produce, which is sold to our dining hall. Um, so the produce that students eat on our, in our dining hall is actually grown right across the street from our campus, on campus, by our students, by staff, um, which is really wonderful. It just sort of, um, sort of speaks to the community, um, how that community is always there. Um, we also have a lot of student engagement opportunities in the Center for the Environment. There's a sustainability committee, you can be an eco rep. Um, you can also find a job or volunteer at the farm and also join Green Up Club, which has a lot to do with our sustainable um, initiatives on campus. Next, we have the Adventure Sports Center. Um, the Adventure Sports Center really gets our students out and about. Vermont is an outdoorsy state and St. Mike's is an outdoorsy school. The Adventure Sports Center runs free programs for students to just get outdoors. They run programs as low key and easy as nature walks or taking hikes in the fall um, to see all the beautiful foliage in the Vermont, in the Vermont fall. Um, and then they also have very extreme, um, very extreme programs like ice pick climbing, which personally sounds a little bit terrifying, but it's one of our most popular programs. Um, students can be certified and become a um, become an adventure sports center leader so they can lead these programs. Um, all of these people that you see in these photos are students running these programs. Um, there's kayaking, there's hiking, there's also skiing and snowboarding. Um, Vermont is a big skiing and snowboarding place. Um, and so we do have a partnership with a local resort and mountain um, that gives our students um, season passes to the resort for skiing and snowboarding for $80 for the full season, which I don't know if you've ever skied or snowboarded, but that's an amazing deal for our students to get a season pass for $80. And if you've never touched a ski, uh, skis or a snowboard in your life, but you wanna learn, we do have a learn to ski program through the Adventure Sports Center as well. Um, and one of those undergraduate professional endorsements that I mentioned earlier is in sports coaching, and that is um, partially run through the Adventure Sports Center. So it's just another leadership opportunity that you have um, in an extracurricular on campus. There are a lot of volunteer opportunities, like I've said, um, on campus. Volunteering and service is one of the values that St. Mike's was founded on, after all. Um, this slide particularly highlights our fire and rescue program. Um, our fire and rescue squad is entirely volunteer. It is comprised of students. Um, you can see in that picture that yellow building is our firehouse that is, um, that is operating 24-7, 365 days a year, completely by students. So if you are interested in joining the fire and rescue squad, um, you can become EMT certified or, fire, or become a certified firefighter. Um, and you will serve five surrounding towns as well as the St. Michael's community. So you will be, um, you know, responding to emergency calls, being emergency services. We have two um, fire engines that are just, that are our own. They have the St. Mike's Fire and Rescue insignia on the side. Um, and we also have two ambulances that are, again, completely student run. Um, all, all of these students, a lot of them live on campus throughout the year um, during winter and summer breaks as well. So they can continue serving our community um, in the off season in, or out of the school year because um, again, it's, our, it's a operating 365 days a year, 24 seven, and it's all student run. We do also have other volunteer opportunities on campus if fire and rescue may not be your speed. Um, our service organization is called MOVE, which stands for Mobilization of Volunteer Efforts. And that is our most popular club and organization on campus. 75% of our students, um, 75% of our students partake in MOVE um, throughout their year. And so service is really important. I'm gonna skip a little bit ahead um, because I wanna talk a little bit about um, how to apply. We are a Common App exclusive school. Um, we've been test score optional since 2009. So you don't need to submit SAT or ACT scores. And we have three um, application deadlines, November 1st, December 1st, and February 1st. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me and you can find us on our website to get more information. All right, thank you so much. 
Okay, so now I would love to have all of our representatives to come back on the screen um, and uh, talk, uh, talk a little bit about, um, just do, do some Q and A's just to answer some questions about um, the college search process and things like that. So the first question I love to ask you is what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we're gonna answer in the same order we presented. All right, thank you. Um, so my piece of advice to students would be to be prepared, but also be yourself. I think a big part of the college search process is to make sure that you're visiting the schools that you're interested in. Uh, so make sure that when you're visiting campuses to be yourself and introduce yourselves to all, any admission counselors available to you and to accept the help that is given to you, um, but also be prepared with some questions that you may be thinking about in your college search process. So that is my piece of advice to students. Um, and then I mentioned this in my presentation, but um, kind of investing time in in the schools that you want to go to. So applying for outside scholarships, that's you investing in yourself. Um, you would be surprised how maybe a 20 minute um, time frame you can learn about so many other other scholarship opportunities that are available to you. And that just ends up opening up so many doors where um, it might bring a school to the forefront that you didn't think was possible, even though you maybe fell in love with it. Um, but yes, yeah, spend that time investing in yourself with outside scholarships. Um, and yeah, and it, it just is very, very helpful in the long run. I think my piece of advice for students would just be to ask for help if you need it. There are a lot of people who are at your disposal, both in your high school and also at the schools that you're applying for. Part of my job as an admission counselor is to help our students and answer questions and help them through the application process. And that is the best part of my job is getting in contact and helping with students. Um, so seriously, with any question, if you ever need any help, just reach out to all of the people that you have behind you to support you and just ask for that help. Absolutely. Um, so the next question I have for you is what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? Um, so I think one thing that I want students to remember about our school is that we, despite being a small university, we are still located in a bustling, growing city. So there's a lot of resources still available to students who want that small learning environment. I think it's a really big choice to decide what perfect learning environment is. So don't be afraid to be able to search for that, whether it's in a big city, college town, or a small town. And um, St. Edwards really does provide a lot of support for their students, to, no matter what their next step in life is. Um, and then for me, um, the biggest piece about our school is really related to our Jesuit identity, which um, I, I'm inspired by our students every single day who really just have this heart for service and to give back to their community. And by doing that, they do a wonderful job at humbling themselves and asking questions about things maybe they're unfamiliar with or experiences of our community members um, that they really can't identify with their own life so far, but they seek to be, they seek to really live in solidarity um, with our community members, both again in Kansas City, Missouri and internationally. So um, that's just uh, the biggest thing that I learned um, as, as I'm just working alongside uh, students that was, that's been, that's been really wonderful. So, yeah. I think at St. Michael's College, the biggest thing that we want all of our students to remember is our community. Um, as a graduate, I know that the community is unparalleled. You get to know the professors and the students on campus and the staff really well. And like I said, you know, there's always someone in the college admission process to help you. And on the St. Michael's College campus, there is always someone, whether it is someone who works in the staff in the dining hall or a professor um, or another student, there's always someone to help you on campus. Um, and so our community really works together to make our students feel at home while, we're on, while they're on campus. And after, as alumni, you still feel like you're part of the family. Oh yeah, so one more question. Um, what is one myth you like to debunk about the college admission process? That's a great question. I think the myth that I would like to debunk is that um, you don't have to spend a lot of time uh, doing the application process. I think a big part of it is just narrowing it down and 
If you're using uh, applications like the Common Application or the Coalition, it's really easy to be able to input the information that you need and also just present yourself and be real with um, who you are. You don't have to present a perfect self of yourself. We know that college students go through a lot and that um, the application process varies from place to place. So we definitely want you to take the time, um, but don't be hard on yourself. I think that's the one thing that um, students always think about the application process. It's gonna be daunting and it doesn't have to be if you don't want it to be. Um, and then mine, Hannah's done a really good job of highlighting this. So I'm gonna like steal it a little bit. Um, <laughs> but um, I think the biggest myth is that a lot of students think that they are an inconvenience and you are absolutely not. So please make sure that you are really utilizing it is literally part of our jobs as admissions counselors to support you, get your questions answered. If we don't know what that what that answer is, you are we will make sure that you get that um, the right answer as you're going through this process. But our whole job is just to support you during um, what can be a super exciting, but honestly, like a very stressful time. So we really want to be there uh, to support you on this really exciting journey. And then for me, I think my um, my myth would be, don't put who you think we want to admit on your application. Put who you are in your essay and in your application materials. We don't have a standard student that we admit at our institution. We want to get to know who you are and the way that we do that is through your application. So anything that you're involved in, anything that you're passionate about, we just want to know who you are. And that is the most important thing when you apply. Well, I hope you were paying attention during this session because they dropped some nuggets of wisdom tonight. So, but I wanna thank you for definitely joining us. Um, when you close your window, um, there'll be a quick link with a five question survey. Please do that. We wanna get, hear your feedback. We encourage you to check back to the schedule because like I said before, there's a, more panels and there's more sections on Saturday. Definitely sign up for those. Um, and this recording will be available at strivescan.com forward slash crystal dash ray. All right, thank you participants. Thank you panelists. Have a good night.